Hey guys, it's Landon with RH. This is another video I'm doing in the set of videos to show you how some basic tools work in Inkscape version 1.3. Some of my Inkscape videos are getting a little, a little old, like me, so I wanted to update some of those. So in this video, we're going to go over the Align and Distribute tool. I've got that pulled up here on my right hand panel. Uh, if you don't have that visible, you click down here in the bottom corner, it says Align and Distribute. I'll pull this up. I've just got some random shapes. These are three rectangles of the same size and the rectangle that's double. <clears throat> and so I'm gonna just work, work from the top to the bottom down here um, to show you how you can you can use this tool. This is super cool. I used to group and ungroup a lot to properly get the align and distribute dialog to work. You don't have to do that anymore. There's a little toggle here that, that will align, move and align stuff as a group, which is cool. So um, I'm going to show you how the difference between having this toggled on and toggled off. I'm going to leave it toggled off for now. You typically align and distribute related to some kind of reference. And so right now I have my reference uh, set to last selected. That's the one I like to use. But you have some other options here. Your first selected object, your biggest, your smallest, the page, the drawing, the selection area. This is just what I use. It's my habit. Um, okay, so <clears throat> let's select these objects and show you how to do some basic alignment. So we have this, these are not grouped, which means they are going to move um, independently, independently of each other. They're going to move or align. So um, if let's just say we wanted to uh, align all these, we wanted to center them on the vertical axis. So that's right here. We can center. Okay. We could also center them vertically, or I'm, um, uh, uh, yeah, center them vertically on the horizontal axis. Okay. We can move them to the right side. We can line them up on the left side. We can line them up their their bottom edges. We can line up their top edges. Right. So there's all kinds of different things you can do here. Now that's not very helpful when they're independent, um, but what you can do is you can uh, move and align these as a group. So we'll hit that toggle. And now if I select these, sorry, and my line, I can say, all right, I want to line up these right edges. Oh, now it's not working. There we go. Now it's gonna it's gonna move them as a group, right? So let's look at the difference there. If I uncheck them as a group and I do that, repeat that same, you see how it, it moves them in, it 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 moves them independently. But if I have this checked, let's see which one. Let's try this one. Then it it maintains it maintains them like a, if I had made these a group before I used the the tool. Um, we can also center horizontally. Okay. <clears throat> now, this is alignment aligning the edges of, of bounding boxes, and the and this this tool works with bounding boxes. Okay, um, but you can also distribute your gaps. So let's look at this. So for example, let's just say I had these a little they're a little messy, and I want to center them on the vertical axis and make these vertical gaps even. Let's make these a little a little more random. So if I select all these shapes now, I could say, all right, center them on the axis. And then, um, oh, that didn't do what I wanted because I had this toggle checked. So let's say center them on the axis. And now I can distribute the vertical gap evenly. And I have some options here. I can distribute the top edges evenly, the, the centers evenly, the bottom edges evenly. What I want to do is make even or equal vertical gaps, right? So, and you can do the same thing horizontally. So if we had these like this, I could click these and say, put them on the same horizontal axis. Let me make these gaps a little, a little more 
uneven. Put them on the same horizontal axis and then make the horizontal gaps equal. All right, <clears throat> I don't use this rearrange. You can do some weird stuff with here. You can do some weird stuff here. You can <coughs> remove overlaps. I don't use that tool very often or at all. Okay, but let's go and see what the grid the grid does. Um, so if you have, let me duplicate this. So if we have four of these and we want to, four shapes, we can arrange them on a grid. So I've got a two by two grid here, equal height, equal width. And I want to um, arrange, arrange them on a grid that's 50 pixels by 50 pixels. And I say arrange, it puts them on a nice neat grid, uh, which is super cool. Um, you can also do a circular grid. So uh, you have to select a circle to do that, but then I can say arrange, um, and it and it arranges them around the circle. Uh, so this is like a, a circular array in CAD. Now, if you uncheck rotate objects, you do get a, a different result there. So it, it's not rotating the objects there. Now, something that's a little more interesting, I've moved these, on these strokes, I've moved the rotation center to the end of the stroke. And so we can say rotate, use my object's rotational centers and rotate, and then we're gonna get like a compass shape. Oop, I didn't select my circle there, sorry. Yep, that isn't exactly what I wanted there. Let's try it without them rotated. Yep, that's not what I wanted either. Okay, the reason it's doing this is because I have them, um, I actually want them 90 degrees out. So let's try this if we go arrange and then you can click these and that one's good then you can just use your rotate 90 this one just got snapped to the wrong spot so it didn't quite do what I wanted but it was close so that's how the, the circular uh, the circular uh, arrange tool works so there isn't very much you can't figure out as far as positioning and alignment in Inkscape with this dialog and the snaps that you can't do in CAD. So you can do almost all the same set of, of stuff. Um, so if you're a CAD user, just remember your grid is like your array command in CAD, your circular, uh, so this is like your regular grid array, this is like your polar array or your circular array. And then th this aligns. Now, th what gets a little bit tricky is just to show you real quick, this tool, the arrange and, and distribute dialog does work with bounding boxes. So if you have irregular shapes, it gets a little it gets a little trickier. So if I click this now and I say I want to align it to the edge of this rectangle, it's gonna use my bounding box to do that. Uh, nope. Okay, so it's it's using the two bounding boxes. Um, which may or may or may not be what you need. Um, now, if you want to, like, let's say, line the shape up from this vertex with this edge. All right. Well, the way you do that is with a guide or a line. Okay. So if I come in here and draw a stroke, and then I can go to object, object to guide. Then I can take this, and now now it's snapping to the guide there, right? Now, if let's just say, let me redo that. Let's say I want to move it straight across. I don't want it to move vertically. Okay, the way you do that is you draw another stroke straight across. Yeah, to really do that, I need to have my, my grid on. But let's just say we, we were gonna slide it, let's say at an angle. So same thing, object object to guide now we can grab this shape right here and it'll snap to that intersection okay, so 
if you're if you if you're working with the regular shapes, you may need to use some guides in the snapping to, to do similar kinds of alignment with your uh, with your shape with your irregular shape. So, all right, guys, there you go. There's a quick crash course on the align and distribute dialogue. Thank you for watching.